go. I'm ready. Are you ready? Ma'am, if you sit down. If you have anybody who you'd like to accompany you, they're more than welcome to sit there before I begin. Do you want somebody to sit next to you? Or well, I'm not a lawyer and I've never heard of these before, so I don't know how things um, proceed. You would sit right there, and if you have somebody you want to sit next to you, they can sit next to you. But if I would like to ask questions of anyone, they would have to be sitting up here? Well, yeah, yeah, and I, well, let's do this on the record. Like All right. There we go. Good afternoon. I'm Hearings Examiner Michael Barabee. I'm going to be conducting this hearing today. Today's date is January 20th, 2009, and this is the matter involving Ms. Lauren Canero. Did I pronounce that correctly? Canario. Canario. Uh, if you would please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Uh, I'm not expecting to be testifying today. Okay. Um, well, this is a Demera points hearing, and I'm going to be reviewing certain information with you. In order to make sure that the information is accurate and correct, I will need you to testify. In the event that you do not testify to that, I would be forced to find you in default. And uh, essentially, some of the information that I need to acquire from you is your proper name, address, date of birth, that sort of thing. So you have to take an oath in order to do that. So do you swear to tell the truth? Nothing and nothing but the truth? Uh, I affirm to tell the truth. You can certainly, I apologize, you can certainly affirm to uh, tell the truth. Uh, do you have your driver's license with you today? I, as, I have a question. Um, yes, ma'am. Isn't it, uh, the person who makes the accusation, isn't it their, uh, let, I, their burden to yeah, prove let, their case? Indeed. Let me go through this briefly with you. First of all, because I understand that earlier you stated that you hadn't gone through this before. Essentially what this hearing is, is a determination as to whether or not you've accumulated a certain number of points within a certain time period. And if that accumulation of points reach, reaches a certain level, you're subject to a loss of license. And that is predetermined. Um, if you get a certain number of points, say 12 points in one calendar year, you're looking at a 90-day loss of license, uh, which I believe is the case here. I took a quick look at the record. Uh, in order to do that, what I need to do is review your driving record with you. In order to review the driving record, I have to make a determination that you are who you say you are. And the way that we do that is to look at your driver's license and match that with the person who's sitting in front of us. So it's merely a... a something that I need to do in order to determine you are who you are. I can say that I am Lauren Canario, but I can't show you a driver's license. I haven't got one, but you, I can you show you one. another kind of ID. Yeah, if you have another ID, that would be fine. Okay. Credit card. Oops, good picture. Please state your name for me. Lauren Canario. And where do you reside, please? I decline to say. Okay. <laughs> Will you give me an affirmation if I say the address? Okay, I'm going to admit to the birthday. That's, okay. That is my birthday. All right. In that case, I think with the birthday and the fact that you received the notice, we have sufficient um, material to go forward with today. All right. The authority for this hearing can be found in RSA 263, paragraph 56, 264, paragraph 2, and Administrative Rule Safe C, 207, paragraph 4, and 212. The scope of the hearing is as follows. You are ordered to appear for a hearing to determine whether your license and or operating privileges should be suspended based upon the total demerit points that have been assessed against you because of your record of motor vehicle convictions. In addition, to determine a financial responsibility, insurance shall be required. It doesn't appear that you qualify for that. All right. The hearing. All right. You have the right to appeal any decision I make today. You have 30 days to do so, and it would be in the Merrimack County Superior Court, Concord, New Hampshire. You also have the right to be represented by an attorney, but because this is a civil matter and not a criminal hearing, an attorney will not be appointed for you. You would have to hire an attorney on your own. Do you have any questions at this point, ma'am? Uh, probably a, a few. Uh, are you a judge? No, I'm not a judge. 
I'm an attorney and I'm a hearings examiner. So it would be inappropriate to refer to me as your honor or anything like that. And is there a evidence of a complaining party? No, in the essence, the complaining party, I guess if uh, we were to go that route, it would be the state. And it's been determined that you have accumulated a certain number of points based on your convictions. And I'm about to go over that with you. And I'm going to provide you an uh, opportunity to take a look at that. According to the motor vehicle record that I'm looking at, and I'm going to hand this to you afterwards, all right? So you can take a look at it. Too. Okay. <coughs> This is Lauren Canario. On 12-1608, you were convicted of unregistered vehicle. The violation date was 12307. And if you want, what I can do is I'm going to go through this, and then I'm going to give you your motor vehicle record and give you a chance to take a look at it. And if you have a problem with something, you can address it while you've got the record in front of you, OK? That'd be good. All right. According to that one, that's two points. On 12-1608, you were convicted of unregistered vehicle. Violation date, 12707. You had two points on that one. On 12-1608, you were convicted of unregistered vehicle. Violation date is 3107. You have two points on that one. On 11707, you were convicted of operation after revocation. The violation date was 10307. What can you repeat that? I couldn't quite understand. Which one was that, ma'am? The operation after revocation? Operation after revocation. Okay. Yeah, on 11707, you were convicted of operation after revocation. The violation date was 10307. That happened in Milford District Court. They assigned you a six points on that one. I would also note that on that same day, both uh, the violation and the conviction, on 11707, you're convicted of disobeying a police officer, violation date 10307. On 11707, you're convicted of speeding, violation date 10307. On 11707, you're convicted of unregistered vehicle, violation date 10307. On 11707, convicted of misuse of plates, violation date 10307. They were all assigned various points. But the way that the law is written, you are only uh, penalized for the highest number of points, and that would be the operation after revocation. That's six points. Now, you did have a disobeying police officer. That was also six points. But because you already have a six-point conviction on that day, that's not counted. The three points for the speeding isn't counted. The two points for the unregistered vehicle isn't counted. And the three points for the misuse of plates isn't counted either. So although you have one, two, three, four, five convictions for five violations on one single day, only the six points are counted against you, not the total number of points. 